Um, today I am here to share with you a bit of a fun card. It's a fancy fun fold card. I'm on a bit of a kick to do some simple fun fold cards at the moment. My team, um, I showed you late last month, my team did a theme uh, with our team swaps of fun folds and I've picked up some of those um, to share on with my, I was going to say patience. Patience is my other word. Customers is this work. I'm not even working today. Oh, help me, please. Good morning, Miss Nicole. I hope you are well. Um, I am... Oh, Kay's here. Deb's here. Oh, my WA contingent's here. Good on you, girls. Hello, Linda from Detroit. Yes. So I have groped out the Hydrangea Haven stamp set and the Hydrangea Hill paper. Now, I did have the paper. I have used this paper so much, I have zero full sheets left. So what is in here is all I have left. So this coordinates beautifully uh, with the paper. Hello, Miss Cindy. Lovely to see you. Hello, Rose. You mustn't have class today, Miss Rose. Lovely to see you. Miss Marjean's here. The OGs are here. Love it. Love it. So this is the card we are going to make together and that I made in class on the weekend. So essentially, it is two cards of different sizes stuck together with a bit of pattern paper and a bit of stamping. It's actually really easy and I will show you how, so don't worry. Yay! Good job, Rose. Okay, great. I have my second screen up. I have you girls here. We're all off and running. I'm loving this today. I have gone up to, gone, been out and about this morning picking up some framing um, for both my room and my eldest room. Um, They've had their print for years. It's never been framed. Finally framed. And we can take down a wedding print um, that we had nowhere for in this house. Um, so hello, Miss Thelma. So we popped it up in their room. And I'm uh, finally putting up a blueprint of a trombone, which they actually play, um, the trombone, just a black and white blueprint. So it's not technically a blueprint, but it's that style. And then I got a um, print from an artist uh, that I actually personally know um, back when I was 40, so a year and a half ago, almost, and I finally got it framed. So it's to cover, I can't match paint on the main wall in my lounge room. I can't match the paint because it's a suede paint and the paint's years old, don't have the tin anymore. Yes, so we're putting a picture over where the big 80s fan boxes used to be. It's patched, but we're going to put the picture over the wall right there good plan but it's a beautiful print I will um I'll share when they're up I will share when they're up so thank you all for joining I will see if I can get myself all organized because you know sometimes that's a struggle here and we will get making our two cards so I have everything prepped like I did for class this isn't being helpful. So I've got everything cut, ready to go. Um, I will share my tips and tricks along the way. So tell me how your weekend was. And while I get set up, I hope you all had a good one. Mine was getting ready for class and then having class. But it was a bit of a dreary day on Saturday. And... Um, it was lovely on Sunday, quite warm actually. Okay, I think we're straight and good, straight up. 
That doesn't happen very often. So these are some of the products in the cart that we'll be making. I'll go and hold on one second here. That's better. I will go and get rid of my shadows and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So, Hydrangea Haven, I have also used the die, this die here from the Ornate Frames dies. This is an extremely useful die set. Um, I have used um, quite a few of these dies recently in cards. Also using the matching pastel pearls on the card as a finish off. Um, the ribbon, I chose not to use the matching gorgeous grape ribbon and to go with the ice cream corner blackberry bliss striped ribbon that still matches one of the hydrangeas um, in the set so i decided to go with that and then on the inside i have just done simple stamping room to write to your recipient you could even write on the inside flap here and we're ready to rock and roll i can show you some of this paper i obviously don't have all the sheets but this paper is available to purchase so these are some of the patterns and you can see these are the flowers that I cut out for the embellishment. I've got these flowers as well and one more pattern. We have these larger hydrangeas with the um, old olive weave on the back. So it is a beautiful set, beautiful, beautiful set. That is going away at the end of the mini catalogue. So if you want to grab it, I have had customers love it so much. They've grabbed a second pack. So anything I am using today is available to purchase in my store if you would like to do so. Um, on YouTube and Facebook, I will add direct links to my store and here on haps you will just need to go to my profile which will have a shop now button um, on the link in my profile the three ink colors we are using are old olive highland heather and blackberry bliss and all my bits and bobs i'm going to start today with the stamping just to get it all done and these are the three patterns now i have had to substitute the rococo rose because everyone oh i still need another one of those flowers lucky i know exactly where they are and it's pre-cut so this lovely mottled hydrangea pattern but i had to substitute um the Rococo Rose for the Seaside Spray pattern paper just because I had used all that up but it'll still work really really well because when we layer them up like that it still works beautifully well with the I'll still have the touches of Rococo Rose. So for our card bases this is a full size card that I have cut a section off. So I've still scored it and I've just cut a section off. Our small card is just, I think it's 10, oh, it's 12, so 24 centimetres by seven and a half. Good morning, Miss Donna. How are you? Oh, good evening. Good afternoon for me. Going to need my bone folder here just 
So the confusing thing is, and the thing that a couple of my customers struggled with in class, is this smaller 24 centimetre by seven and a half piece. Um, we stamp it backwards. So we've got this card going normal card, and then this one going backwards. So I've chosen not to have a closure on this card. So when you've got it on display, it still stands up. A lot of people, or and if you watched or go back and watch my video on my team swabs, a lot of people will put a something here to tuck this piece into so then it stays closed but then you can't open it and I'm not sitting it on a straight surface but it does open so does that base part of the fold make sense to you all because I'd like to know that I am making some sense and that you're understanding where I'm at just give these a really good fold and then we'll get on to our stamping. I'll start with the Stamparatus because that is the easiest place for us to start. Yes, awesome, Linda. I am so glad. Try to be clear, but sometimes, you know, the words don't come so easily. Just going to pop this here. Now, I have already put the You Make Me Smile on my Stamparatus. I'm also going to move these pearls. I've already put this here. And I have already created a jig. So what that meant was during class or because we made so many, I stamped this stamp, then cut it out with the ornate frames dies and I didn't move the stamp on the plate or the flap, whatever you'd like to call it. Hello, Shelley. Thank you for joining. So then all I have to do is slide in my die cut pieces and they're going to stamp in exactly the right spot and the same spot. Hello, Melody. Thank you for joining. I am well. Are you well, Shelley? Okay, so just inking this up. And because it's the Stamparatus, if we don't get a fantabulous image the first time, which... I am actually going to live with that image. It is a little, it's just not as dark in the middle, but I can live with that. And it was the first inking. Normally I do ink off onto a, um, a scrap piece of paper first, but I did miss time. We, oh, I found my other flower. We are living a little dangerously. Give that a nice. And this one is a little darker. And that is our sentiment done. I have, I've been smart and I have pre-moistened my stamp and chamois. So I can just give this stamp a wipe off and that is that part done we're going to need this in a sec so I won't close it properly actually I never close it properly because I don't uh, want it to go moldy so next lot of stamping we're going to do is on our two mini cards and we are going to stamp our companion sentiment. So you make me smile. The world is better because of you. Um, that's Rococo Rose, Shelley. Um, unfortunately, in Australia, 
Rococo Rose is totally sold out. It is one of our retiring in colours um, and has completely sold out. But it does go, oh, that's way too small, it um, does go with this paper. So I used the colour. And I'm hoping that you guys have that colour in your stash. And I'm going to take off this line image, pop that on my large block there. The other images, on, or the other image singular I will need is the fill-in round. And you can see I have kept some of my die cuts that match this stamp set in here so I know exactly where they are. Hello Miss Ross. Sorry, itching nose. Can't talk while I itch my nose apparently. Okay. So I have all my stamps mounted. I also have my spare scrap paper. So I'm going to do all my Blackberry Bliss. Do you know what? I got all those stamps out and I never got the sentiment. Ah, yay! That's good, Shelley. That is good. I have been running down my stash of those colours. I have a lot of just shade. Oh, no, that's current colour. Um, yeah, I've I've run them down fairly well. The one I probably have most of is terracotta tile, but it's not as if it's a full piece or anything. It's just I have a bit of it. So because this is writing, what I generally do, take it off and I just let it sit on the table. So then I'm not distorting it when I pick it up with my block because if you put a word on a block you can distort it just like this one I'll show you because it doesn't matter I can distort where this stem goes so I can have it straighter because that's how it wants to sit or I can actually distort it and bend it like that um, especially with the words, I just like them to sit on my surface, relax into the shape that they were formed in, and then pick them up with the block. Hello, Anne. Ooh, guava jelly. Now that sounds interesting. Okay, do my two sentiments. Now I am going to stamp this off first because we and that's stamped so perfectly 10 bucks so i can't get it that perfectly i think i got it perfectly look at that guava jelly i don't know that i've actually ever eaten guava i may have when i was in malaysia or bali but Two perfect sentiments. Oh my god, that never happens, guys. Okay, so now we are going to do our hydrangea detailed piece. I'm just going to go for it, okay? That's not too bad. I'm not sad about that image okay oh i missinked a bit there but we're filling it in so it doesn't matter because this is an evil color i think that stains everything it touches i'm closing it up i mean i love the colored bits but because it's got so much red in it it's a little bit e evil you love guava, Shelley. That's awesome. Like, you know, I've had papaya and 
think I've even had dragon fruit and star fruit and all of that. I'm not a fan of lychees. I don't know if that's controversial or not. I'm just not a lychee fan. Um, but, hey, no one can be perfect, can they? So just giving this a nice clean off and that is perfectly clean. You girls know I just dropped that on my hand. That was smart. So I literally stamp on to the chamois to clean it off. Then I give it a teeny rub and that left no impression. It is stained, but that is the mark of a good quality photopolymer stamp set. They do stain. They are perfectly clean and ready to go for their next inking. Pop those off to the side. We're going to start with our leaves. And we're using Old Olive because that is the colour in the paper. Letting the paper do all the really hard work. Now, do you know what? I may even just want to stamp that off. Just to make it nice and soft. I'll do the same again. stamp it off it's not stamped perfectly and I'm okay with that because it's just filling it in and it makes for really easy images because you've got the stamps there and you can choose to stamp it off ah, you can go I thought guavas are quite a tropical fruit aren't they I'm surprised um, they grow so well for you, Anne. But Anne, you are north. So I just may have contradicted myself completely saying that. It's okay, don't mind me. Just keep going about your lives. Yes, okay, right. Now. I am going to try, <laughs> try and line this up-ish. I can never find the way it lines up, you know, but I really don't think it matters. So in the Highland Heather and stamp off and stamp on and we get that beautiful halo of colour with the detailed stamp. Done. That is all our stamping done. Nice and simple but very effective. Oh, see, I've never been to Hawaii, Cindy. That's my problem. I've been to Malaysia, Bali, US, um, and Italy. That's about it. Ah, oh, that's so cool, Anne. Especially to be able to pick them so fresh and then eat them straight away. There's no better way than to eat freshly picked food. Now, where did I put that piece of paper? I thoroughly threw it. No residue of any ink. And they are all ready to put away at the end of this video. And I am finished with my chamois. Just need a quick drink break. Sorry, ladies. And gents. If there are any gents watching today. So, first and foremost, while I've got these here, where do I put all my papers? 
they're just here so I'm going to start with this piece and just apply my three large pieces of pattern paper first now I'm hoping this glue is all good because I was using it quite a bit last night oh there we go it's running straight away so just to make my life easier because I know where this piece is going I'm just putting the glue directly on the card front and that does make it less messy kind of except I just had a bit of a tremor slash wiggle count on you know you want to move for me Apparently it really doesn't want to move and it is going to be a bit crooked and that's just how life is going to stay because I'm not pulling it back up. Hey, that's life, isn't it? Handmade, not hallmark. I much prefer to make my cards and then have them the way I'd like them, them settling and paying a fortune for a Hallmark card or whoever else makes cards and I mean that by companies not other demonstrators of course okay so that is oh my god I've done these the wrong way so these are normal opening cards. So I may need to flip my base around to be like this. But that's okay. We make it work. I need to flip my base around to be like that. That's okay. All good. All is good. All is good. All is good. La 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 la. I had my special moment and didn't follow my own advice. Oh dear, oh dear, no one caught me either. Shows you guys are paying heaps of attention today. Is anyone crafting while watching me today? Because I know quite a few of you get your craft on while I'm crafting, which I love. It's always better to craft with friends. Okay, so we're just going to put this seaside spray piece. And I'm not talking to you, Siri. Just going to put this uh, seaside spray piece on the base. We're not writing on it or anything like that. It's just there. Oh, you're making, are you doing your Christmas Stampathon challenge by any chance, Deb? Have you done yours this month? I haven't gone and done my comments yet this month. I do have next month's challenge that go, or this month's challenge that goes up on the 25th prepped. Um, I just literally need to get off my plate 20, 30 customer cards. Yay! Very good, Deb. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, I host with a number of other demonstrators the Christmas Stampathon Challenge. So we do a challenge on the 25th of every month, January through till October. Um, the October one being due on the 25th of November and we may have various challenges so you can get ahead with your Christmas card making. So then when it comes to late November, December, when you need to start writing your cards, you can because You've got a stash of them all ready to rock and roll. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Colleen, pivoting. Didn't take me long. It wasn't a stressful pivot. It wasn't a stressful pivot. It was just like, now, what can I do? I'm sure I can do something. And I could. So I was very, very happy with that. And I should be cheering today, girls. And guys, this is the first day of term two. So the kids are back at school today. Woohoo! So we have a very quiet house. 
went out and restocked the pantry and the fridge. And as I said earlier, I picked up my framing from the framers and the framer was very happy with the jobs and the art and what, how, what we chose, how it all came together and looked. Uh, yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, they will be rotten by them. Okay, so that's all our pattern pieces adhered. So we're going this way which is fine. We're not quite adhering yet. I just want to do my ribbon next and then we'll do this side of things. Or actually, no. What I will do, just one at a time, not two. So I'll put blue. My glasses are slipping down my nose today. Maybe if you freeze dried it and it had like dehydrated it, it would arrive and then Cindy or whoever was after one could do something really cool with it. So now what we want to do, I actually do want to close this. I just want to center this as best we can, you know. Life isn't perfect, neither are we or our cards. These ones are definitely not perfect. So, uh, so we just want to center that. Oh, and they're riding on there or they can ride across the hydrangea. It doesn't really matter. And that is our basic fold done so one is a left hand opening one is a right hand opening and that's all okay hello Sylvia oh no I was gonna say it must be a personal crisis that's not good to hear Sylvia it's nice to know too you've got an Australian connection here because she's in Melbourne, isn't she, Sylvia? Just trying to cast back my brain cells to see if they're working today. They may not be. I didn't really want to get out of bed and wash my hair this morning, but I have on to it tonight which is a demonstrator virtual event, and I need to look my best. Hey, Carol, thanks for joining. Okay, so that one, that is that done. Great, now we are on to our embellishment bits, and I'm now finished with my wet glue. So that's good, we got all that done at once. Oh, she's into Woomba, okay. Oh, what are mums for, Sylvia? Mums are pretty awesome, I must say. I am going to use my Seal Plus because we're sticking down ribbon. So uh, what I want to work out first is how I want this to sit. So I want this to sit this way and I want the ribbon to go that way. It's okay. It does make a difference for where I am going to adhere this. And I did just... Where did that piece go? It's right here in front of me. I did just get some of that glue so I just fold it back in and to leave this here take the pin out of my ribbon I even put that pin in I couldn't remember which way I put it oh no thank you two scoops no no I've had a couple of a couple of haps viewers they uh, came in right at the start, but thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. 
Okay. Um, just want to get this loop right. I don't want it too big. I'm just doing it off the roll to save some ribbon. Oh, that's good. That's lovely. Yes, that works really, really well. Get my ribbon scissors and just trim off the tail. I'm so glad I never delved into my customer dimensionals when I had my dimensional crisis the other weekend because they were almost run out as well. And this, I used all those dimensionals from my, what was it? From my paper pumpkin kit. They were all used because... I've made uh, 30 customer cards to go out with new catalogs. And um, that whole sheet, I've nearly used uh, two whole sheets. So I'm rather impressed with myself that I got my order of dimensionals in time and the fact that they are all being used. Okay, I probably... I've, no, I didn't go overboard because this is pattern paper and not cardstock weight. Give myself some grace. So these two flowers are slightly differently orientated. So I, although we'll be using three different flower clusters actually. Let me flick this one over. This one is, this one has, they're three different ones. Um, no, I like the greenery at the bottom, which means it goes that way, which is this way. Right. Hello, Miss Josie Dean. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming to hang out with me, Two Scoops. How are you, Joyce? Um, are you home or school at the moment? And pull this one. Well, I'm going to need an extra titch of glue here. Ah, mean. Mean, mean, mean. Um, And, um, oh, I'm glad I'm, um, I've got a little fault in my ribbon. It may be from me pinning it, but I'm glad I only needed that amount. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. All rubbish for that. Ugh. I can't believe that floated into the rubbish. Now, where do I put my pin? It's hiding under here, isn't it? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, we will get there, I promise. Just getting there slowly today, apparently. Uh, well, do you know what I've found? Using a pin has helped me a lot because I can think or I can like thumb through my ribbons without them all unraveling. So I literally just put a pin in the end. These are like sewing pins. And then I can use it. I can yeah and they don't unravel. So that has helped my storage immensely. I have my ribbons stored in our stamp and storage in some of the open cubes. Um, on YouTube, I do have um, some storage, some short storage videos on how I use 
our stamp and storage and how and I actually haven't changed it much at all no it hasn't changed what's in them has changed at the moment because I have significantly less uh, ribbons with the catalog changeover but other than that um, it's all been the same thank you Josie oh can I these are the ones I bought at Aldi when Aldi was having a special that's what I'm saying and that's what worked for me now I do hope well how while I'm here do the sentiments well scissors not doing what they're told um no that's fine because they're going under anyway so they're gonna need the support that can go there i'm almost going to finish another pack of dimensionals okay they can go over there out of my way bring my cards in I don't know what I like better whether I like the blue better or whether I like the Rococo Rose background better they both work really really well okay so where's my dish oh my dish is in my bag because I was crafting at on the lounge last night I was assembling all the bits I could do without my desk sitting on the lounge because multitasking is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Watching some reality TV with the kids. Oh, you're in the Toowoomba during the week. Oh, you love these colours, Sharon. I'm so glad. They are. And um, yeah, they're just the pattern paper. Just elements out of the pattern paper. You can hand cut them or you can cut them in other ways. They don't have a die that goes with them, but that's okay. Hmm. Ah, I do wonder, I've done this the wrong way around. Do you know what? We're just going to live with it like that and put some of the pearls here. But the next one I'll do the right way. That's okay. I wasn't really paying attention, was I? make it work we've already made it work quite a bit oh look at you girls networking i love it love that you can find people in the same area that can help josie is such a beautiful giving person i've known her for a really long time Josie, we met before Stampin' Up, didn't we? I'm trying to cast my mind back. Because I know we've got so many friends and whatnot in common. And groups and medical conditions and stuff like that. Okay, this isn't quite how I wanted it. But it will work. Hello, Renee. How are you? Right, so I've got one going the right way, one going the wrong way, sentiment-wise. Now we just need to add our... Oh, my word. That went on the floor. Now we just need to add a couple of pastel pearls to finish it off and then we've got our three textures we've got paper 
ribbon and our pearls. So I like having some different textures happening in my cards. Just adds some interest. Yes, essential baby. I'm sure that's it. I'm sure. I may be wrong, but, you know, I'll let anyone say that I'm wrong. I need to get some of... I haven't got any goober at the end. Yep, there we go. Just, um, I think I do want to use one of the softer purple ones as well. This does not want to play ball. Try again. There we go. So a cluster of three. That looks lovely. This one I can put. Just creating a little triangle. Perfect. And these embellishments are carrying over to the annual catalogue which makes me very very happy because they are beautiful and they're purple I don't need any excuse to want anything much it's purple that is the only answer that anyone needs mm -hmm. I think I want another one here and I will just use one of these deeper ones. Love the take your pick tool. Works so well. Lovely. So that is all embellished. Ah. You girls are all up there. One place I've never been. I've been to Queensland, but I've never been. I don't think I've ever been like north of Noosa. And that was like as a child. Because I went up for like um, Expo, for the World Expo I went up for. Many, many, many moons ago. That was like, what, 1988 or something like that. My watch is telling me it's time to stand up. Okay, so slightly cleaning up so I can share with you what we have done and used and all those things. So I've used the Hydrangea Haven stamp set with the Ornate Frames dies and the Hydrangea Hill stamp set with the Stamparatus to stamp our sentiment. So this is... A fun fold card or a fancy fold whichever way you would like to look at it oh fantastic Kathy I would love you to check out the replay so this was my original and that was the original way I intended it to open but I got a bit distracted talking to you girls and we made this one the opposite way and it works perfectly well. Um, I did substitute our base paper here instead of the Rococo Rose. I used the Seaside Spray piece out of the Hydrangea Hill pack. So just to show you, just move this out of the way briefly. This does stand up perfectly fine, so you can display it on a mantle, a table, an entertainment unit, whatever you wish, um, and they still will stand up. You could, I could have popped this a bit further down to act as a closure, 
uh, for this, but I chose not to because I didn't feel like we needed it. And we used our pastel pearls. I'll just pop those here at the bottom. So if you want to purchase any of the supplies that I have used today, and I will also just pop in the bottom the three colours that we use. So Highland Heather, Old Olive and Blackberry Bliss for our stamping. If you want to purchase any of the products and you're in Australia, I would love you to choose me to purchase those products from. I will have links uh, very shortly in all my videos. My pleasure, Miss Cindy. I will be back on Thursday with another one of my class cards. So I will see you then and be good. If not, tell me all about it, okay? Because, you know, I live vicariously through many of you because I can't, often can't get up to fun adventures. Oh, thank you so much, Sylvia. I'm so glad you could pop in after helping out your daughter. So I appreciate you guys. Um, taking that time my pleasure have a good couple of days and I'll see you Thursday around 12 noon my time which is Australian Eastern Standard bye guys